implementing inheritance currently we are in section 9 and we are about to check out the third video of this section so in this video we will see the demo for implementing inheritance within our code so again head back to your editor and within this let us define the class of dog and also the class of cat with some properties and functions So here just to save time I have simply defined the class of dog with string color and string breed and with to behavior of bark and eat. Similarly we have the class of cat with string color and integer age with some behavior of mew and eat. Now if you notice in both the class we have something in common such as string color here and also string color here. Similarly we have two common behavior of eat and eat. Fine. Now don't you think these codes can be optimized and and the repetition can be avoided of course yes so here comes the inheritance into picture so if you notice both of these dog and cat are actually animal so why don't we create a separate class of animal and put those property within it for example we can cut this string color from here and paste it here and similarly cut the behavior of eat and paste it within the class of animal perfect and now similarly let us remove string color from cat and also behavior of eat from here and now we just have to use the concept of inheritance in order to inherit all the properties of animal within the class of dog so for that we have a special keyword in dart such as extends space use the class name of animal so once you do this it simply inherits all the properties of animal such as string color and eat within the class of dog fine and similarly here as well use extends animal and the same applies here as well and now how to access these two properties with the help of dog object so for that within the main function let us define the dog object once you do it so after this you can use dog dot all these properties such as breed bark color and eat such as let us define the breed of the dog labrador and then define dog dot color equal to let's call it black so here if you notice this color is present within the class of animal but we are treating this color as if it was defined within the class of dog and without any hesitation we can access the property of color from the dog object similarly you can use dog dot bark and also call the behavior of dog dot eat and here again this eat property this eat behavior is actually present within the class of animal here but we are still able to access it with the help of dog object now the same thing applies for the cat object as well so let us test it out and now one by one you can use cat dot color cat dot age and also call the behavior such as cat dot eat and meow perfect if you launch the application right now you will get the output accordingly fine now what about the animal object can we create the super class animal object yes of course so you can use where such as animal define the variable name equal to animal constructor like this with the help of animal object let's see what are the options that are available for us such that we can use either color or eat we don't have any other option of such as bark or mew why because this animal is the super class of dog and cat so this animal cannot get any properties of dog and cat because it is actually the parent class not the child class so with the help of animal object we can call color such as let's say brown by default all animals are brown in color let us assume and then animal dot eat and we cannot call animal dot bark or mew it is not allowed fine so just remember only the child class has got the right to call the super class properties such as dog and cat the animal can only call its own properties and behavior so if you launch the application right now you will get the output accordingly perfect for each of these object 
So that's all for this video. Let us continue our discussion in the next video.